Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it'd be a total m and a total mismatch. The Hawkeyes are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. Number one, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. Second, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Thirdly, get your man on your hip after the shot, lock out, and get after those boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. Great shot. the dribble gives it up the small forward gets the ball he got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen let's see if they can get a good shot this trip trying to feed inside goes up for two he drains the shot gave it up great anticipation defensively Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He pump fakes. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul. No doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Comes up with it. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're lucky right now. My goodness. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He goes with a baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Had a momentary look from three-point land. And up. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. The power forward with the ball for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Turns it over. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the shot to fall. Pass down low. There's a drop step. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ball goes out of bounds. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Perfectly executed. it in the power forward takes the feed good fakes the shot that was really a nonchalant pass get that sucker out of the game man <laughs> <laughs> offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose for two great play to take that to the basket 
Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The shooting guard takes the pass. A little frustration right there. No foul on that interception. No foul is right, Brad. That's Mr. Clean. Intercepted. The point guard gets the pass. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Up and inside. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Trying to go inside. Wang picks up the foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Got the high pick. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense. The people in the spot, Mr. Nestler. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Controlling the ball. He takes the shot from the baseline. Way off target. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. The fans are patiently waiting for something exciting to happen. So far, the crowd has had nothing to cheer about. Now they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. The crowd really quieted down after that shot. He took the life right out of the crowd with that basket, Brad. Look to get it to the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. He unloads a three. He buries it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work it around the arc. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He puts it in with contact and all. The Buckeyes have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Got a man in high post. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. From the top of the circle, Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Stolen away. What a great strip. High step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista Goff in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important, they'll have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Steals a pass.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From left of the circle. Nice shot. Watch out, the five second count is getting close, Brad. He's got an open look for the shot. Here's the three ball. He nails the bucket. On the outside. Let's it fly. It sticks. the circle they work great effort defensively he says thou shalt not enter thy lane baby get it out of here I'm the landlord dump it inside he rejects it fakes it looking for a good shot pull up jumper from way out these boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now Dick they've got them at their mercy with the threes Brad He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. the game really important here you want to establish some good tempo here we go on the break they just can't seem to miss they found a serious stroke with their shooting Brad got a nice screen tries for two great play to take that to the basket Open look if he wants it. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He tries the three ball. He drains the bucket. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. In and out. Number 31 is emotionally pumped up. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. For two, perfectly executed. Check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, guys, in this David versus Goliath matchup, the stronger team is capitalizing on the turnovers and lack of defense. Thanks, Aaron. Number four looks to record his first minutes. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this point. He'll visit the charity strike. Free throw is good. Sucker out of the game, man. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Back to the live action we go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. 
He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. There was no doubt about that one. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. High post screen. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Defensively down on low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Hendricks draws the personal. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Both free throws go. Oh, what a strip, Rad. There it is, Jam City. the shot if he wants it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. And he'll kick it back outside. They work it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Takes the jumper. Knocked it down. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Takes away the pass. They're working around the arc. From right in the circle, he shows the sweet touch. Picks off the pass. Length of the floor. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Count that as a personal foul. Work 
working around the perimeter. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. He's got a nice shot fake. The fake. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up, leans in. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Looks at the three. He gets it to fall. Up and inside. Good fake. Gave it up. Fires away. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. With a deep pass. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. From way outside. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Off the rim and no good. He gets the bucket to fall. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. From three-point territory, sinks the shot. At the half, the Hawkeyes are down by 24. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. hasn't really weathered the storm in the first half. He's really only had an average half, and their team is way behind. I wouldn't worry too much, Brad. Don't be surprised to see the offense go through him more often in the second half. If there's anyone who can get them out of this blind, it's him. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job, the underdog, of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did earlier. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Step out on that screener. Shoots. Goes in.
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Too physical. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Hey, look out the wall, baby. Oh, my. Looking for a good shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. There he is. Strips the ball loose. They push it up on the break. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Terry look from three-point land, kicks it out. He takes the three. No good. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Determination, baby. I'll tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the outside. Here's a double team from three-point range. Goes. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dribble gives it up, tries a three, it's good. The Hawkeyes trail by 25.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. He does the sweet fake shot for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Buckeyes are ahead by 25. He fires from long range. Tickles a twine. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Nice fake. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. For two. Can't get the shot to go. the block transition opportunity coming up that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes for the deep one. Buried it. the feed down low now the turnaround jumper I'll tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away impossible to block gotta take some pride on a defensive end he takes it away and here they come the other way in transition Goes up for two. Scorches the net. Pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. From the baseline. Way off target. Accepts it. Lowry picks up the defensive foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Not a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the pair. He gets it to go. things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nessler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Want to get that ball 
ball movement, get that good spacing. I'm running right into the screen again. What did I say? There's the trap. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Unloads a three. Iowa have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Picks off the lazy pass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Watch the replay coming up. it around the perimeter way out on top controlling the ball this whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job on the dribble gives it up he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier for the bucket he gets that one to fall Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. On the outside. From the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Now they'll bring it up. Iowa is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. And the jam. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. With the fake. Right in the circle. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Looking for a good shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. There was no doubt about that one. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. that basketball. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Drains the shot. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again.
they come with a double team to stop it. He dials long distance. He goes with a baby hook. Doesn't go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the throw to lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Steals a pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They move it into the front court. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. <laughs> Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here they go into transition. Another turnover. I'm not talking about the turnovers either. For two. That's good. And a momentary look from three-point land. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. There's a high screen. Takes away the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Side. He launches a three. There's the screen up on top. Tries for two. Stanley rips the offensive board. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. It's the second. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Looks at a three. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. For two. Gets it to go. Yeah. 
from three-point land. Great shot. That's incredible. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There's the pick. There's the roll. Stolen. Shot clock is dead. Goes up for two. Easy one. Gave it up. Shots there if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. Just hoping for the best. The ball goes out play. They just keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ball again. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Iowa is simply blown right out of this one. No surprises here. They were fighting an uphill battle from the start. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.